<laughs> Today we have a lot of ground to cover because we had some death in the dark then. Uh, since it is warm, we had a lot of tarantulas molting, also some scorpions. Uh, some potential problem is over there and also we had some escapes and yeah, let's go! And we're gonna start with what will most likely be the title of this video. I'm gonna show you these two mature males that actually died on the same day, which is incredible. They were born on the same day because they are from the same exec. They were born together and like best buddies, they died on the same day, which is really, really crazy. So these are Pamphobeteo species Mahala, I believe. I had three of them and all were males. The one that matured first died kind of long time ago while well, these two they were alive for a very very long time they were really old at least when it comes to mature males they were really old but you see they were super super pretty i actually had an episode in previous dark then talking about these two how magnificent their coloration was and even though you can still see it you can still see the purple on the legs and also how beautiful the carapace is when they were young the coloration was more intense and also in that video i showed how they kind of look different like they were two different species so who knows if they, they were like a true species or maybe some hybrid who knows now i will take them upstairs and put them in the fridge to save them because in the future i'm basically saving all the tarantulas that die because in the future i want to do i want to do a taxidermy of all of them and have a nice display showing all the mature males that I had and also all the adult females that died during the years yeah that is something that I want to do so now give me a second just a time jump the reason why I wanted to move them immediately is because they were dead for a few days and kind of started to smell now let me show you some fresh tarantulas and the first one I'm gonna show you is this Brachypelma Emilia beautiful female she actually molted like two weeks ago so we are going to feed her a bit to fill that abdomen with one smaller roach but let me see if i can oh no 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 that was almost a fatal mistake what is that white stuff over there hmm, i hope that it is not problematic but now i'm gonna grab one roach one headlight roach who is going to be a lucky winner i think that one over there Oh, that was fast. Well, this is actually an adult female. Huh. I actually wanted a small male, but whatever. Off you go. Oh, no, 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 no. Grab the roach, grab the roach, please. Damn, 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 damn. I need to get that roach out. Because since it's a female, I don't want to risk her laying some small some smaller roaches inside. What, you don't want to eat? Ooh, 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 yes. I know that you are hungry. You must be hungry after the molt. Oh, but she's so gorgeous. Let me show you her molt. You see, this is my molt panel. And this right here, this is her molt. I actually have a bunch of more molts, but these are the ones that are kind of spread and preserved at least majority of the molds are like these that were destroyed later on and thankfully i spotted on time that she's molting she just flipped on her back so i have nice time lapse and also a couple of clips of her molting so yeah check that out <laughs> Thank you. 
that was sweet, right? In the future, I will do my best to record more molds. And you see, these enclosures that are standing like outside, also the one is over there. Those are the enclosures of tarantulas that are potentially in a pre-mold. So this way I'm making like a mark for me that every time I get down here, I always check those enclosures if maybe tarantula is starting to molt or maybe molting. And while I was showing that, I noticed that, look, those are actually her fangs from her molt, you see? You don't mind if I take them, right? Ooh, looking really sweet, huh? <laughs> I'm gonna keep that. You see, I already have some other right here. <laughs> and also, if you're following me on the Instagram, you know that one Metallica from the Communal actually molted. And I recorded the time lapse, but I will save that for some other video. The video where I will rehouse them or maybe just rehouse the, the male. Can I even spot the male? You see, here is one, here is second one, here is third one. But I think the male is that one right there. Hmm. I'm gonna need to poke a bit. They all like to be clumped together. Oh, yeah, this is the male. I'm gonna try to get him out. He will most likely bolt, but that shouldn't be a problem. Look at this handsome guy, huh? He looks pretty, pretty nice. And since, you know, I have a female, right there in the future there <laughs> there will be a sexy time i am really looking forward to that because it would be awesome to get a metallica exec a successful exec because then i would save it and make a huge communal with all the pokies like huge communal big enormous <laughs> another mold that i'm gonna show you it is from Linda and yeah, you heard it right, Linda molted and she is even bigger now, but unfortunately she is way, way, way down in her tunnel, so I cannot show you. I didn't even spot her by myself. I only spotted this exoskeleton being dumped outside, so that's how I know she molted, but I didn't even spot her. Now, I really want to preserve her molt. You see, all of these are Linda's molts and this is her last molt, but the problem is this molt is already dry. So I need to kind of make it soft again so I can spread it for nice display. And the way I'm going to do that, I'm going to take a couple of, let me show you. I took a paper towel and I'm going to put it inside of this, this plastic cup. I'm going to moist it like a lot. Oops, put the mold inside. Ooh, I need to be careful not to break it because one leg already broke and that was not my fault. I found it already broken. So I'll let it sit like this for a few days and hopefully then I will be able to spread it around. Um, yeah, I'll just put that here. So next mold. This is from another pokey, a Pezzoteria fasciata. And thankfully the female is outside so you can actually observe her. That is if she doesn't escape. Okay, there we go. Ooh. Hey, 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 don't attack me, please. Oh, she's beautiful, right? So as I said, this is a Pezzoteria fasciata. And I believe that we can feed her. She definitely seems interested and I think that she will grab a prey without any problem. But let's just admire her for a second. Look at this pattern on her legs. And that yellow coloration underneath. Ah, oh, it's just superb. The pokies are just so, such a beautiful tarantulas. One of the prettiest genus. I'm gonna grab a roach. I'm gonna try to get an action shot. <laughs> that was sweet, right? <laughs> as sweet as this tarantula. <laughs> And she is almost like posing here for us. Beautiful. If I bring some additional light. Beautiful sight. Oh yeah. Uh, what the hell? The lights are out and I can actually feel some plastic. Like some plastic is burning. I think that some cable failed or some. Oh yeah, here it smells really, really. Let me figure stuff out.
Угу. Хм. Can't figure out what happened. Oh, I found a potential problem. It looks like it is this extension cord, you see? It is burned here and when I smell it, yeah, that's from where the, the smell came from. And you see, this side is fully bent from the heat. So the extension cord failed and probably the explosion that we heard, it is from the, how do you call it, the safety thing inside that burns when there is some current problem. So yeah, okay, let's go back to video. And for next updates, we actually need to be in this room because firstly, uh, this one molded. This is a Brahepelma Hamori called Minerva. She got that name because a long, long, long time ago in the second dark den, she actually escaped by increasing the ventilation hole in the plastic container she was being kept. So that's why she got that name. And you see, she is freshly molted. Unfortunately, I don't have a cool time lapse of her. Only I have a recording when I uh, removed her mold, her fresh mold, and also I managed to pet her a bit on her abdomen. And she really didn't mind that, like she was a, a good, a good spider. <laughs> but I saved her mold and it is right here, all nice and spread. And that is why I love when I find a freshly molted tarantula, because then mold is fresh and you can just easily spread it and pose it like this. Neat stuff more molds and this time it will be a scorpion mold the scorpion that is in this enclosure no 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 this one what am i saying also the thing is it is already outside but this scorpion actually molted recently also like a week and a half ago and this is parabutus lechteri uh, i have a molting time lapse but unfortunately the scorpion was almost done with the mold when i started recording but it is one of the, the best scorpion molds that I ever recorded because he was outside on the open and it is so unfortunate that I didn't spot it earlier. But still, a cool, cool sight to see. Another scorpion that I managed to record molting was one of these two heterometer species, but it was just at the edge of its height, so the molting time lapse was definitely not the best. But you can see that it is a freshly molted. Uh, scorpion so it was at least something now one one thing that worries me I already posted it on the Instagram and it is this uh, pseudo hapalopus species blue this female for the last three weeks or so is acting super super weird and I don't know what is up with that you see her posture is just so weird and I'm I'm kind of worried that she is constipated even though I cannot really see anything or maybe that that black dot over there, maybe that, I don't know, but she still moves and everything. And you see, she's actually pretty fast, but she's constantly in that posture. And I know some of you said that it is due to a lack of moisture, but you see, her enclosure got plant inside, live plant. And that means that I'm misting her enclosure more often than regular enclosures, because you know, the enclosures where I don't have any plants, I miss them once a week and the ones that got some life plants, I miss them twice per week. So her enclosure got more moisture than the others. And also just as a precaution, I added a water dish inside, but still I don't see any improvement. Hopefully I'm just paranoid, but by now I kind of got good at recognizing a weird and problematic behaviors from tarantulas. So hopefully this time I'm wrong. Also, I recorded a short time-lapse of this La Sedora Parahibana molting, you know, the one that got a lot of mold in the enclosure. So we can quickly go to that. Yeah, I know it wasn't as good as from Brachipelma Emilia, but it is what it is. 
and this brings us to the final final update in this video and look what it is inside of this enclosure i have nandu chromatus female you see she is relatively big and such and for some reason i have them inside of this this plastic cup Oop. Oh, sorry sorry girl sorry yesterday night i came here in the dark then and i found her in the middle of this room just sitting down there like nothing is happening i quickly grabbed the cup cup her and then went to check her enclosure which was right here because at first i thought that i didn't close it properly because sometimes uh, i close it like this you see and then tarantula can just open the enclosure since all of these plastic parts are 3d printed not all of them work perfectly some do not sit very well so sometimes that happens but it wasn't the case the door were closed so i immediately knew how she escaped and look what she did here on top of this enclosure i have this metal ventilation mesh and she managed to actually pull it off you see the silicone cannot perfectly adhere to this painted metal so if tarantula is strong enough and persistent enough this can happen this is the second time that this happened in less three years as i'm having these enclosures so it is not something that often happens but it can happen as you can see thankfully in my final design of enclosures that i will have for sale uh, i won't be having these metal meshes but instead i will have also a plastic part similar to this front side so that will adhere perfectly to the glass and to the silicone so something like this won't be possible but i'm not sure how quickly i will be able to replace all of this enclosure meaning that there will always be a chance that some tarantula do something like that and escape Ooh! i wanted to finish this video but we have an update look at this we need to pull this enclosure out like this because this another nandochromatus is in heavy heavy pre-mold you can easily tell that by this black and shiny abdomen i'm not talking about the black part uh, that is on top i'm talking about this shiny black area and this is something specific to a tarantula in the pre-mold but you can only spot that if tarantula removed hairs on her abdomen it is not always visible but with that i can end this video i hope that you enjoyed it if you did thumbs it up and comment something if you want to support this channel more there's a patreon page if you're new to this channel make sure to subscribe upload every monday sometimes on friday so see you again soon bye, -bye.